All right, we got the truck all done. I did a bunch of work to it. Um, we're picking up glass. It is like hurricane winds. Of course, I get the trailer that's in front of the damn mud puddle. So I'm gonna pull this out and strap it down. Um, obviously, there's not enough room there. So I did something a little unconventional that I've never done before. I wanted to try it. It's so windy. I wasn't, I wasn't about to try to open this up because um, that's a nightmare in the wind, um, especially when it's blowing this hard. Um, so what I did is I went inside, pushed the strap hook down through the um, flapper, slung it up over, pushed the loose end down through the hole. And then you just, I did that for each one on the corners, come outside, hook it, Go to the other side, pull it tight, put it, put it on the binder, and roll it up. Um, obviously, I can't tighten it. We're going to pull this out now. A um, little bit different way. I've never done it that way. It's a little bit more dicking around, but I think I saved me a bunch of screwing around in this wind. So, um, but we just got the service done on this, got the oil change, change the air filters, the annual DOT inspection. Um, we did service to my Aspar heater because that was starting to get a little goofy. Um, so we serviced that quick. So that's good to go for a long time now. I think it's about another thousand hours. Um, everything looks good. So let's get this going. This is gonna be a short week. We're just running this down to Missouri. Try to find something coming back. We're gonna be off. We wanna be off or at least home Friday. Um, we're taking all next week off. Um, it's time for a vacation. It's deer hunting season. I do it every year. It's a three day week for Thanksgiving and there's no sense in hauling a load anyways. Um, let's let the freight build up a little bit. And what are you gonna do? You're gonna take off Monday, go deliver something Tuesday and then come back Wednesday. And if you don't find anything, you're coming back empty. Just a waste of time. Not worth it. Just. Not worth it. Just let it just let the freight build up and uh, we'll hit it after that. So enough jibber jabbing. I got to get this pulled out. We got to get it tied down. And then we got to go across the street, get our paperwork, get checked in or checked out. Um, and then call our receiver and stuff like that.
trees are just tall enough. Definitely sketchy. Definitely sketchy. I almost think we should have stayed straight on that road and went through town. Next, we got one more, one more turn. We gotta turn left. I'll be uh happy to get this off in the morning and uh, figure out how we're getting out of here in the daylight. That's for damn sure. So I talked to the people, they said, uh, said there's a big gravel pull off. Because you can stay there or if I want they'll uh, dummy lock the gate. I can just come in and open the gate. So we'll see. There goes the fox. See if they dummy locked it. All right, I walked up there, the very far gate, all the way up front. They uh, they had a dummy locked, just a lock on it, not locked off. Real. Opened her up. We're gonna go in there.
just did our count, signed our paperwork. I have absolutely no signal here at all. So we, uh, we're going to run up to that truck stop. Hopefully signal's a little bit better there. I'll bring you with. We're going to take a little bit of a different route. We're going to go through town and take one of the side roads. coming but the trees are so dang low um, I need most of the road Nice day though, it's 60, 66 what the dash says. We're gonna try to hook to the right here. So we came in straight ahead last night. We're gonna try to make this turn. This is gonna butt up to the main highway that we came in on. At a favorable angle for us.
at Wesley. All right, so we've been sitting here all day, um, looking at load bars, um, haven't found anything. Everything's either too heavy for a Conestoga. Uh, it's too long, they want a 53 foot, this is only 48. Uh, stuff like that. So my dispatcher called me and she's like, I haven't been able to find anything. She like felt bad and I'm like, you know, it's the market we're in, it is what it is. So um, she's like, well, what do you want to do? I said, I'm going to give it, I said, we're going to give it till, uh, we'll give it to like mid tomorrow morning. Um, that way if any last minute posters are going to let post up, you know, um, give that a chance to happen. Um, but if nothing pops up by then, I said, then I'm just going to start rolling. You know, and at that point, it ain't worth it just to sit and sit and sit. So, what I have just decided, I am only 29 miles away from Joplin. So, instead of sitting here in the middle of nowhere, I'm just going to head into Civilization. Uh, go hang out at the Joplin Petro look at some shiny parts and do my best not to spend the money in the bank although I know there's a few things there that I probably would buy right now this may not be a good idea all right we're here look at this front row baby front row this could get ugly. I didn't even make it five minutes. I'm ashamed of myself. Let me show you what I got. Got some new lug nut covers um, for the steers. The long ones, good ones to thread on ones. Uh -huh. I like that look. Got some RTV, some clear for some little gaps in that mirror. Um, also got some black to go around the black trim of the mirror. Um, I've read some threads, this guy's saying that sometimes you can get it from that as well. So I'm going to do that quick. And then some microfiber towels. I'm about to lose everything out of my lap right now. Microfiber towels. And uh, we're going to try some of this Renegade. Pearl red, heavy cut. Let's do some little shining up while we're sitting here. I hate sitting idle. I hate it. I'm either got to be doing something or I'm going to sit here and I'm going to eat myself to death. So I'm better off just dinkering with the truck. Why not polish? So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I got plenty of time to kill. It's nice. It's gorgeous out. Um, See what, it, see what it looks like. I haven't tried this stuff. I've got so much polish at home. It's just... I don't bring it with me, and the times that I don't bring it with me, it seems I have downtime. So I should probably start bringing it with me. Alright, I think I just booked a load. Um, last minute plan kind of worked out. I got a little bit of a deadhead to go get it. Um, but it's going right back to Wisconsin. Um, paying like two grand. Uh, sounds like it's a load of uh, plywood. So, super easy. So, I did some polishing on the wheels last night. Put them lug covers on. They look really nice. Clean the tires up a little bit. I really like that polish. It is, um, it wipes on nice. It's got an awesome scent. It's got almost like a cinnamon scent. And um, once you just let it dry, it wipes right off. Super easy. I also bought these. Window chops to match the visor. So I got the driver's side on and you want it to match. You don't want it to be like down here. It'd be different height. So you want to get the same size as your visor. I'll show you that quick. I can't put the passenger side on yet until we get home um, and I'll show you why. All right, so just a quick view. Um, so you want that chop to line up with the bottom of your visor there. So we got that on there. Um, 
clean those up. Those are looking nice. Like I said before, we still got to take the wheels off, sand them around the lug nuts. But put a little tire shine on the tires, just kind of clean them up a little bit. I got to drill these rivets out. Right there. It's in the grease. Because I had to lube, you got to lube those pins. I got to drill those out to get that window chop to set on there. That's no big deal. So I'm going to go get something to eat quick. Make sure I'm getting ready to go. Just uh, check my oil and all that stuff. And then once uh, we get all that done, I told dispatch, I said, um, I'm not going to take off until we get the Raycon. So once you get the Raycon signed, everything's good to go. Then let me know. I'll take off that way. So um, because it is going south, I don't want to start driving farther south um, when I got to be home. I want to be home. So I'll uh, catch you guys down there. I'll show you what we got. Sounds like it's a real simple, basic load of plywood. Um, kind of going up into northern Wisconsin. So we got we got a little bit of trucking to do. Um, we're going to have to get down there, load it, roll, roll hard. It's a quick update. 65. No whistle. We got her. Thank God. All right, we're here. We're just waiting to get loaded. Um, he's probably going to be next. And then, um, so we had to pull in the scale. Um, right when you get here, I just pulled on, and of course we're uh, right barely on it. They even asked me, they go, is that a normal weight for you? It's like 32 something. I'm like, yeah, it's probably pretty close. Um, they weren't sure if I had to back up or not a little bit. So I was barely on on the back, but I was like right at the edge um, on the, with the sear tires. That's a 48. 53, I probably would have had a split weigh it but um, we're good, checked in. Just as soon as we get loaded, we're gonna get, just pull out, strap up, and um, we're gonna roll. Roll as hard as we can. Um, this will deliver Friday. And then uh, we gotta beat ass from there back to the house. All right, we are loaded. Um, I was gonna start the video and then we got hit by a well, we didn't get hit by a train. We got stopped by a train. Um, 46,000 pounds of two by six is on. I don't know why the broker told me it's plywood. It's just lumber. So we got 46,300 and some odd pounds of uh, two by sixes. Uh, gross weight of 78,000 and some change. We got two miles that hit 40. This road is narrow. All these lanes are like super narrow. So we'll get some turbo action.
I gotta pee. excited to have it this heavy. Uh, finally get a real nice heavy pull on this motor um, through the hills and stuff like that. It's really going to help us.
change of plans. Um, got rolling, got doing the math, looking at the GPS, estimated time of arrival. Uh, their cutoff is 3 o'clock. Uh, we wouldn't be there until 3 o'clock, and we still got to put a break in. broker we're cool with it everything's fine what we're going to do is we're going to roll with it i'm supposed to be off next week uh, we're going to roll with it to the house take the weekend off uh, monday we're going to roll up unload it and then just roll back home and uh, go back on vacation so that's the plan uh, just wanted to verify all that with them guys before like that's going to change which route I take here through uh, Arkansas and Missouri. So, uh, we'll probably roll up to Joplin and then cut over now since we're already headed this way. Just wanted to uh, give you guys a uh, keep you in the loop and uh, and probably it for this one for the, since we're just going to roll home and then Monday roll up, unload, and then come back. It's nothing special to see. Takes a little bit of pressure off me too, uh, because that was going to be that was going to be a really tight. Like even if I did make it tomorrow, would I have enough hours to get from there back home? Uh, probably not. So it is what it is. That'll be it for this week. Not a great week. Um, this lump pays two grand. Holidays, you're gonna run into that. So I'll catch you guys on the next 